Hello world, this is Ina, and I'm here to show you how to live your best life through entrepreneurship. Are you ready for this? Today we're going to talk about YouTube and how to get subscribers. So this is a live session, which is means which means it's a Q&A session. I'm live every Friday answering questions, and today's question was from Angela about how to get to 100 subscribers. Because as you know, you cannot have a vanity URL on YouTube unless you have 100 subscribers. Now, here's what I want to tell you about that. There are two ways to go about this, and it really depends on your goals, all right? So I'm going to start, I'm gonna pull up my notes because I wanna make sure I don't miss anything for you. So number one, what is your goal? Is your goal to get to 100 so that you can get the vanity URL? If that is the case, then do what I did. Um, so way back in the day, like years ago, Facebook, in order for you to have a vanity URL for your Facebook page, it required you to have 100 subscribers, 100 people people liking your page. So what I did was I sent out a mass message to everyone I knew, and I said, hey, guys, I just want to legitimize my business. I just want to have a vanity URL. Can everybody just please come and like the page? And once I get my vanity URL, feel free to unlike it if you want. Just give me that so that I can get my vanity my vanity URL and move on with my life. And everybody did. I ended up getting 125 likes just from family and friends. I thanked them profusely. I was super happy. I posted with my thumbs up on my uh, uh, on my Facebook page, um, you know, thanking everyone for their help. And that's what I did. So if you want 100 subscribers so you can get your vanity URL, that's all you need to do. Now, if you really want people who are going to sign up for your content because they like you, because they want to see more of you, you have to follow certain rules. Um, and I'm gonna try to keep this short, but these rules are really, really beefy. And guess what? There's really no quick way to get 100 organic like fans, subscribers to sign up, all right? There isn't, it takes months, all right? Some people get it faster than others, and it depends on how good their content is, how much people are searching for their content, and how they rank when people search for their content. So let me walk you through these four guidelines. After you have implemented these four guidelines, you will be on your way to getting your first 100 subscribers, all right? But you should be focusing on the work rather than on actually getting subscribers, unless, like I said, that is your main goal, and I already told you how to get that done. All right, so let's talk about organic growth. All right, point number one, have a consistent schedule. So this is super important because remember why people are subscribing to your channel. It's because they want to get consistent content. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's not, it's not a good practice to just post everything to just blast everything off and say, okay, here's my content because then why do I need to subscribe at all? I just checked out your video. I checked out your entire inventory and there's no point in subscribing because I'm not expecting anything anytime soon. So the best practice is save your content, withhold it and put it out, you know, little by little, trickle it out. So uh, what a really good practice is to do this every week. So, yeah, basically, every week. Every week is a good thing. I do it every day because I'm insane, right? You don't need to do that much work. Once a week is a perfectly fine way to trickle your content as long as you are consistent. So consistency is huge. If you don't take it seriously, nobody else will, all right? Number two, keywords. So the way that people find your videos is through three ways, all right? Way number one, somebody forwards that video to them. So for that to happen, your video has to be really, really helpful or it has to speak like directly to a particular audience member for them to want to forward it and share it with their friends, all right? So that's way number one. Number two is if they see it on Facebook as an ad. It's possible for you to have an ad that has a video in it, but let me, I'll get to that in a second. I have another point about promoting on paid ads. But that's another way that people see videos is by, you know, it being promoted. And number three is if they're searching for something. And if you think about how you use YouTube, um, how do you use it? Do you go and search for things or people normally send you stuff? So that's a, those are the two ways that most likely you are getting to YouTube videos, right? Or you go on YouTube and there's a recommended videos and one of them, you know, catches your eye, right? So What's important about this is that you need to really use keywords that people are searching for. If nobody's searching for your content, nobody's going to find it. So there you go. Half the people who would have found your content are already not 
finding it. So you need to make sure your title is really good and that your thumbnail is really good. How do you make sure that your title is good? There is, I'm giving you a super, super useful tip right now. There is a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. And what that means is that once you install it, if you go to YouTube and if you go to Google and you type something immediately below it because of this Chrome extension that you just installed, it will tell you what the search volume is for what you just typed. So if you, if you type in your, the title of your video and the volume is zero, there's a hint. Right. So a couple things that I do is number one, I go to uh, YouTube and I look at, you know, okay, tell me who's searching for this, how, you know, and, and I try different phrases, right? And keywords everywhere also on you on Google, it shows you uh, people also search for this. If you don't want to install that, that's fine. You can also go to Google AdWords. So if you've ever like had ads on Google, Go to Google AdWords and there's a keyword planner under the uh, wrench. So wrench, keyword planner, and then you can type and see what the, you know, what the competition is for a search word, what the volume is for a search word, the average, you know, search per month. So those are things you're looking at. In order for you to start moving up the ranks though, don't use a title that a million people are searching for. You want to stay within the sweet spot of like 100 people a month to 1,000 people a month. Even that is big. You can stay within, you know, 10 searches a month to 100 searches a month. Because if you're speaking specifically to somebody and you're video number one, that will be a lot better than being video number 15 out of a million searches for that keyword. So you're getting my drift? So use keywords, make sure people are searching for them, make use of these tools to find out what to name your title. And your key, your uh, thumbnail should be representative of what they're going to get, right? So if it's you talking at the camera, it's you talking at the camera. Feel free to add, you know, clip art, colors, things like that, but make sure that it's representative of what people are going to be clicking into. Otherwise, it kind of feels icky when you click on something and it's not what you thought it was. Number three is to promote 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 what this means is that don't just rely on the keywords and don't just rely on people sharing it don't just rely on that stuff all right um, it's not enough to just have consistent schedule and for people to share and have keywords working for you not enough you have to go out there and show people what they're missing so what you can do number one is pinterest that is a really free it's a free way to get people into your content and it's huge it's not just for organization techniques it's not just for recipes people go on Pinterest to find stuff so you want to have really good pins that people will want to click on so I actually have a freebie that I associated with this episode and it's not just a freebie it's actually a bonus for people who sign on to my mailing list so if you sign on to my mailing list you will get this um, you will get this bonus which is the exact dimensions that a pin should have to maximize your click-throughs and you know, some advice on like, you know, the size of the font, what you should be showing in the pin, all that stuff is in this PDF. It's just a one pager, but it's super, super useful if you're going to start promoting on Pinterest. All right. So go and get that. You can get it at inacoveny.com slash 20 because this is episode number 20. It's also in the uh, description of this episode. So uh, yeah, so Pinterest is huge. I'm talking about promotion right now, free and paid. Um, another thing that you can do is go on Facebook groups. So find where your audience is hanging out, which Facebook groups, and go and start answering people's questions. People go on Facebook groups to ask other people for advice. So go and post your video and say, hey, I have, you know, this might answer your question, uh, you know, videos that you're really proud of, right? And you can go and start promoting it that way. It's very time consuming. You can hire somebody to do this for you. Absolutely. Just go to upwork.com. Find somebody who can go and do this for you. Or you can spend 20 minutes a day just going through specific Facebook groups and start posting your stuff there just to start to get the word out. Um, and another way that you can promote is by paying. So here's a couple of things I want to say about this. You can pay for YouTube ads. So you usually when you search for something, there's ad content at the top. There's like, uh, what do you call it? Like sponsored YouTube videos. You can do that. Or... Uh, you can do Facebook ads. Facebook ads are really big. You know, you, you get a lot of information about your audience. You can really narrow down to that sweet spot where people are going to like what you're putting out. And um, But I have one caveat with that. If you put a YouTube link 
on Facebook, Facebook doesn't like that. Facebook likes to have their own videos being promoted. So when you post a YouTube link, it doesn't show as a complete video. It's just like a tiny thumbnail and then your video description. It's not very click friendly. People are not usually click on stuff that looks so bad. And Facebook knows that, knows that and it's intentional. So what you can do is in your Facebook ad, just have really good image copy that will make people click to it, into it, uh, but put the YouTube link in the description. All right, so that makes your ads a little bit more attractive. Um, and that's basically what I had for you. But yeah, you cannot get away with just, you know, trying to do this overnight. You are going to have to put a lot of work into it. You're going to have to be consistent with your content. You're gonna to have to go out there and promote the heck out of your content and make sure you're being smart with your keywords. I can't believe I forgot to tell you the most important thing. Ask people to subscribe. Super important. People will do what you ask them to do if you ask them to do it. If you never ask them, they will never do it. So since you're here, I would like to ask you to please sign up to be a subscriber on my YouTube channel. You can go to inacoveni.com slash YouTube and you will get notified every time we have an episode, which is every day. Super good content every single day right in your inbox. All right. Thank you, guys. See you later.